Well, hey there, Allie Beerman here, and welcome to a very special, very much unexpected short edition of Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. You probably notice I have a different background going on here, and this is something you wouldn't have seen before. <laughs> And this is why I wanted to talk with you today special. Also because I don't have access to the last two episodes that I prepared for you. But they'll come along when the time is right. Because one thing I can always guarantee is everything happens perfectly for a beautiful and divine reason. And always in divine timing. So what uh, I realize and the reason I have a broken wrist I had a physical issue and I wasn't well and it caused me to lose my balance and fall and I was really lucky because I was able to protect myself so the only thing that happened was a broken wrist so I was in the hospital and I'm not used to all that kind of stuff and there's no need to go into it but what I want to share with you today is how special it is to be you exactly as you are exactly as you are in this moment and exactly as you are not so thank goodness I'm right-handed and the broken wrist is left-handed so I am in a rehab place to learn how to do things like cook using one hand. Now I'm a really, really creative person, so I've been getting along, figuring out how to do all kinds of things to take care of myself. I feel so grateful to be creative and to have the abilities and to have this facility, which I'll tell you what, it's fancier than a whole lot of hotel rooms. So the universe brought me to the place. It's like rated number one in the country for rehab centers. But who wants to be in a rehab center? Well, I'll tell you, I don't. But what I'm aware, what I'm so keenly aware of, all the other people here, they aren't as lucky as I am. Well, I'm making a choice of how I define how somebody's lucky. But many of them came here straight from a hospital. Yeah, I did too, but not for the very dramatic reasons they did. And they have all kinds of super challenges. And there's a really special staff here who's really, really good at acknowledging them as they are and where they are in life. So what I've learned over the past two weeks is there are a whole lot of super, super, super special caring people in the world. People who work the emergency rooms in hospitals. People who work the, oh, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. People who work in ICU in hospitals. People who contribute by cleaning the rooms, by cleaning the floors, by preparing very edible, very delicious sometimes, or maybe not to any facility. There are all these people who live from their hearts, who care deeply, who pay attention. I was talking with a young man today who's just here volunteering today. Doesn't have to be here. He's volunteering. Well, when you volunteer, you're really volunteering to be part, part of the community of humankind. Not everybody is up for volunteering, and different people volunteer in different ways. But what's so glaringly obvious is the people who do they are angels. They're real, true angels. And it's not just the volunteers to work in a busy emergency room, to work 
in a busy ICU room where their people are on call and as soon as you ask for help, they're there in less than a minute. Those are extraordinary people and I want to acknowledge them. And I want to acknowledge the fact that you, you're an extraordinary people because you wouldn't be here if you didn't have some kind of gift by being who you are and by being how you are in the world. That's a gift that you've been given to share with the world. I happen to have a very extraordinary daughter and she has a child who has special needs. And I love what she was saying to me the other day. She said, you know, there shouldn't be schools that have, what do they call it, gifted and talented programs because everybody has something special and something to offer and something to give. And when somebody's in a gifted and talented program, it's like, well, how come the other people didn't qualify? And that's a really good question. And what she was pointing out is everybody should just be everybody as they are because her daughter with a special needs, by sharing, by being mainstreamed in a school, she teaches people how to know somebody who might be different. So she benefits from them. They benefit from her. And that's a real world. How many of you went to a school where pe there was somebody who was different from you? I know when I went to school back in the 60s, there was one person she was in a wheelchair. She had a full-time nurse with us, with her. And she, her body was quite deformed. And I never thought to talk to her. In fact, I don't think I ever saw anybody talk to her. There's something wrong with a society like that. If you have all these mixes when people are growing up and you recognize, oh, there are all kinds of people in the world. I have something to learn from every single one of them. And I'm hoping, I'm trusting, because I'm in their world, that they're learning something from me, too. So take a look at your life and recognize the fact you are gifted. You are here. There's nobody on this planet who is here for the same reason, with the same gifts, with the same talent that you have. You are unique. You're here because you are that important. Recognize that and love yourself and honor yourself. You know, I thank you so much for joining me here today. And all the links will be in the show note for finding how to get to the Facebook group and all those kinds of things. But the thing I most want to say to you is remember to enjoy. That's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment. Because nothing in the world in your life happens out there. It all happens within you.